Any suggestions for hammer-ons um, for songs like Don't Panic? Um, yeah, 100%. There's a little hammer-ons exercise that we can give to you. Um, all of the exercises that I kind of show you, I always demo them, them at the fifth fret, but you can do them anywhere. Um, but hammer-ons exercise, same as the warm-up that we looked at, um, would it be Sunday week? Kind of 10 days ago, 9 days ago, something. Um, pick a note, a fifth fret, though it could be any note. Fifth fret on the uh, thickest E string, and then hammer on the middle finger. And then when you've hammered that one on, do the same with the third finger. And then pick that note again, and then hammer on the little finger. And you want to try and get the hammer on to sound like, uh, sound like a pick, picked note. If you've never done that before, that will be really tricky. Um, but with a little practice, you'll be able to do it. You can do it on the thinnest strings. And you can also do flick offs as well, which is just the opposite thing. You pick a higher fret and then flick off to the lower note. Okay, doing a thicker one, this will be a little bit trickier. You know, again, that. If that's too tough, you can flick off to the open string. You know, kind of that thing. Or do it with your middle finger. And that should build up some real strength in, in your hand. If you want to do it while playing a song or playing a chord, you can try doing it in a chord. Flicking off with the, the middle finger there. Uh, but that's just some ideas with that. Um, yes, I need to do some kind of flick off technique videos, I guess. Um, hopefully that helps. But yes, hammer ons are always um, easier than flick offs. Sometimes called pull offs as well, but I kind of call them flick offs because it is a flicking motion. 